Hello guys. Uh, so today we are trying to see the speed difference between JavaScript and WebAssembly through C language. Um, it, is, it is really not going to be a long video, so stay tuned with me. Um, so I haven't done a lot of things up here. Uh, I, th I hope you have seen the previous video and if you haven't, uh, you can just check out that video in my channel. Uh, so let's dive in. First, let's see the function that I've written here. Uh, I've written the loop function here. I have um, so just written a simple for loop, just adding numbers to i. And uh, let's go to our HTML file here. We have um, just ran the loop for one tenth of the million times, and we have done the same with JavaScript one tenth of the million times. And uh, the loop starts first for C, and we have checked for the time difference, and again did the same for JavaScript. So let's see how it does. So, first. We need to open with the live server. I think I have already done that. So let me open that. I think this is the one. Uh, let's open the inspect window. I think you can already see the output, but we will make that even clearer. Um, so here it was already ran and the c function started and took about one second and the same work um, was finished in three seconds by javascript here c is like two times faster than javascript uh, let's reload the page and see uh, what we'll get and i should tell you guys that it really depends on your machine and really fluctuates a lot i don't know why but it really does so here you can see now the javascript is like five times um slower and that's just bad so let's refresh it again now not even one times faster let's do it again so um, choosing from the best um, output, oh, it didn't even require a single millisecond. So I might have been telling you guys that um, the time was in a second, but it re really was milliseconds. So it didn't even require a single millisecond, probably even less than a millisecond. Um, not like in no time but i think you got that so yeah even the same so at the best case uh, we have like four to five five times more speed than the normal javascript so i think there is not much to discuss in this video uh, and uh, we'll see about um other things uh, relating to JavaScript and uh, web development most um, probably in the backend section. Uh, so stay tuned for the video where I will compare uh, like Node.js, Django or even Flask. So yeah, and um, this is the end of the video. Uh, if you like this video, leave a like. And if you could subscribe so thank you and see you soon